I get the impression you would like to see a Sony ZV-1 camera video sample. So that's footage shot in 4K on, on this, the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1, depending on where in the world you are. I have a funny feeling that I might actually be the best person to show you this because I spent about an hour and a half yesterday shooting this. Uh, I, I shot this video yesterday, about an hour's worth of material, and I couldn't use one frame of it. <laughs> I did literally everything wrong. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. I didn't shoot in 4K. I thought, I thought that setting it to 50 frames per second would put it into 4K. It's, it's not, obviously. You have to go to file formats and choose 4K there. The other thing I did wrong was that the ZV-1 or ZV-1, it has a, a gyroscope inside. So it sensed that I was holding this camera vertically like this and it shot all the material in portrait and I didn't want this for Instagram. So this is my second attempt and it turns out that this is my very first 4K video. I'm shooting this on my GoPro Hero 5. I've brought this along so that you can actually see the camera. And I've had this camera for like four years, never shot 4K. So as you can see, I'm uh, absolutely the best person to be showing you this. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy. I'm a development producer, helping high achieving creators and performers just like you. That's a GoPro high five. To get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube where we absolutely need them. Uh, we, need, we need you to be making videos. And I'm making these videos so that you can avoid all the mistakes that I'm making on my YouTube journey. I'm not a camera guru or a photography expert and I'm going to try and do as much talking as possible so you get to see as much 4K footage as possible. Let me cut to the other camera now. This is my, my setup. I've got a Sony ZV-1 on top of a Gorillapod and I've got my Boya BY-M1 microphone. I've made a video about that. That's in the description below. I've got this windshield on because it is a bit breezy and uh, it seems to be helping the audio. And on top of the camera, let's get the GoPro in again, <laughs> I've put a phone holder to uh, just put my notes in front of me because we've got a lot to get through and I'm going to talk a lot so that you get to see as much footage as possible. I'm holding it on a gorilla pod. I tried it with my hand grip yesterday and uh, I just needed it to be just a bit further away so you can actually see something other than my big face. I have made a whole load of videos. That's the correct collective noun, by the way, a load of videos. I've made a whole load of videos about the Sony ZV-1 camera. And one of them is, can you use a micro SD card with a Sony ZV-1 camera? Here's a spoiler, yes, you can. <laughs> but one of the comments that I got was, was this. It reads, Graba en 4K. I'm not sure my pronunciation is correct. And isn't it something like, Graba en 4K? Okay. Now I think I know what this means, but I put it into Google Translate and it came out as, can you record in 4K on a micro SD card? Uh, which was a really specific question, but I thought, well, why not make a video about it? I'm in the UK, so I'm shooting in PAL, which means I'm on 25 frames per second. And I chose the 50M setting, but when you switch it to 100M, you get this error message. It says, basically, you've got to use a card which is rated U3. And luckily, I had just bought one of those. I've got it on screen now. I'll put a link in the description to that card. And I know what you're thinking, which is, Neil, why don't you just buy a, an SD card? They cost about the same as the micro SD cards, and they're actually designed for proper cameras like this. And I hear you, but all my cameras up until this point have used the micro SD card. I've got my DJI Osmo Pocket, my, my GoPro Hero 5, plus my daughter's got a camera, my son's got a drone. It means that I've got a lot of micro SD cards that I wanted to use. It's just really handy being able to flip those cards across all my devices. Plus I've got, <laughs> I've got quite a lot of them as well. And if you're interested, I'm, I've got this set to Intelligent Auto 
active stabilization at uh, 25 frames per second, the 50M. Uh, this is going so well, I think I might even look up what the M means. So how's this working for you so far? Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. But I've got a second question and it came on this comment here. And the comment reads, how is the zoom on a Sony ZV-1 camera? Is it enough for the average user? Because I see the zoom on the RX100 Mark VI or Mark VII is bigger, but it costs too much just for that feature. And I, I completely hear you. I mean, this, <laughs> this camera here isn't cheap either. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find, I'm in the, uh, some ancient heathland, and I think there's some ancient uh, burial mounds, like that one there. I found myself a really nice burial mound to stand on. <laughs> and this is what I can see on the GoPro. And if we cut to the Sony ZV-1 camera, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to the end of the optical zoom, which is about there. So you can see that building there. I'll just take it back a little bit because the digital zoom kicks in really smoothly. So that's the end of the optical zoom. And then I'm going to push it in just a bit further to go all the way in. And then to give you an idea of the capability of this, I'm going to zoom all the way out in one move. So that is the extent of the, of the zoom. And something that, that's really useful for me, because I'm using a lapel mic, if I were using the onboard mic, you would hear the, the zoom mechanism really loudly. So it's nice to be able to separate my voice from the zoom on the camera. Let's go all the way out. If you're interested in the battery life, I've been running my ZV-1 for about 40 minutes on airline mode and the screen at sunny weather brightness. So I've saved power with the airline mode or airplane mode and uh, I've probably blown it all on the, on the bright screen, but at least I can see what I'm doing. And it's lasted for 40 minutes. I'm on the final bar of battery right now. So I think I'm on its last legs. Shall I just show you some 4K footage and run some music? I'll do that for a minute, just so you can see what the footage looks like, just as a normal video sample. Is this video helping? I don't think anyone will reach this point of the video, but if you have, why not say hi in the comments below. And right here are all my videos about the Sony ZV-1 camera. I hope there's something in there to also help out with you with this camera. <laughs>